Welcome to the 2018 13-inch Touch Bar Take Apart Guide. First, remove the six pentalobe screws from the bottom pan. Notice the two sizes of pentalobe screws. The longer screw goes in the back, and the shorter screw goes in the front. Now use a pry tool to gently lift up on the sides of the bottom pan. There will be a clip that pops loose on each side. You will then need to slide the bottom pan away from the hinges to remove it. Before removing anything else from the logic board, you will need to disconnect the battery. First, disconnect the flex cable located here. And then using your T5 screwdriver, remove the screw holding down the battery connector. Next, using your T4 and T5 screwdriver, remove all the screws that are holding down the cable connections. Next, unplug your Wi-Fi antennas by lifting them straight up. Now remove the T4 screws holding down the display connector. Next, gently lift up on the display connector to unplug it. Next, unplug the remaining cables, which include the touch bar, power button, speakers, and microphone.
Now using your T4 screwdriver, remove the hinge covers. Now using the combination of your T5 and T6 screwdriver, remove all the screws from the logic board. Now with all the cables unplugged, you can lift the logic board up and out. Now to remove the fans. First unplug the flex cable located here to unplug the fan. And unplug the other fan located here. Now using your T4 screwdriver, remove the screws holding down the fan. Now the fan can be lifted up and out and make sure that the cable comes out of the connector. Do the same for the other fan. Now to remove the USB-C I.O. boards. Remove the two T5 screws from each I.O. board. When the screws are removed, the I.O. board simply comes out. Next to remove the display. You will need to remove the Pentalobe 2 screws from the Wi-Fi antenna. and then remove the four T4 screws located here. Next, remove the four black T6 screws holding down the video controller board. Next, remove the T6 screws from the hinge. You will need to leave one screw in each hinge.
With a screw in each hinge, open the laptop to this position. And now remove the remaining screw in each hinge. Now the display can be removed. However, make sure the display cable does not get wrapped up in the Wi-Fi antenna. Now the Wi-Fi antenna can be easily removed. Next, gently unplug the touch bar cable. And then remove the Penelope 2 screw from the touch bar controller board. Now gently remove the controller board flex cable from the top case. Next to remove the microphone cable. You'll need to do this very carefully as it's a very fragile cable and being held down only with adhesive. Next, remove the T4 screws holding down the headphone board. After the screws have been removed, the headphone board easily comes out. Now remove the six T4 screws from the back of the power button and thumbprint reader. Once the screws have been removed, the button will easily come out.